Hello, I'm Taryn Metzen, President of the Board of Boston Jewish Film. Today, I have the privilege of honoring two community treasures, Robert Brustein and Doreen Beinart. When I think of the two of you and your passion for the arts and for each other, the words of Marc Chagall come to mind. In our life, there is a single color, as on an artist's palette, which provides the meaning of life and art. It is the color of love. Doreen, you were born and raised in South Africa, where your sense of justice was instilled, and you became the managing editor of the South African Outlook, an influential anti-apartheid magazine. You came to Boston for graduate studies and your journalistic skills, once again, you use them as managing editor of Space and Society, an MIT architecture magazine. Your keen interest in film led you on a journey. You are the founder of the Human Rights Festival at the Harvard Kennedy School, a member of the selection committee of the Martha's Vineyard Jewish Film Festival, and of course, an active, involved leader of Boston Jewish Film, serving as vice president for the past three years. And boy, am I fortunate to have you as a guiding light and as a sounding board, always with your good, solid judgment. Doreen, you are dedicated to the value of Jewish film. You bring your artistic experience, enthusiasm, creative ideas and solutions, and sought after wisdom to our community, and your gracious hospitality to visiting international filmmakers is legendary. On behalf of Boston Jewish Film, I'm thrilled to honor you, Doreen Beinart, today. I'm Barbara Wallace Grossman, professor of theater at Tufts University, longtime board member of the American Repertory Theater, and an honorary board member of Boston Jewish Film. It is my privilege and honor to give this pian in honor of Robert Brustein. I first met Bob when it was before my first year in college, when I really met him intellectually, I read his book, his superb book, The Theater of Revolt, which is a study of some of the giants of modern theater, Ibsen, Strindberg, Chekhov, on and on through Genet. And it was Bob's thesis that these artists really were revolutionaries. And I think that the spirit of revolt, the spirit of being a revolutionary artistically has animated Bob's work throughout his career because he has been groundbreaking, a groundbreaking giant in the American theater. In the film you're going to see, you hear people talk about him as iconic, as legendary. One of the actors says, he was my North Star. But Bob went to Yale where he became Dean of the Yale Drama School in 1966 and where he turned where he, he created a professional theater company, the Yale Rep. That theater became the preeminent theater training program in the country, and the Yale Rep became one of the world-renowned companies. 20 years later, we were so lucky to have Bob come to Cambridge with 40 members of that company to create the American Repertory Theater. And that's where I actually met Bob in person when I had the privilege of being on the board. I joined the board, I chaired the board for seven years, and just to be part of that community. In the film, you hear Bob say that he really considers the institution to be a work of art, where it's the ensemble, it's a community of players, of production staff, but it's also the audience. And to really create an engaged audience, to challenge them, to inspire them, sometimes to make them irritated. But you never walked out of a theater production at the American Repertory Theater feeling just kind of like you hadn't seen anything. You always saw something, and it was just exhilarating. So Bob is an award-winning critic. He has won the George G. Nathan Award twice. 
He was won a Tony Award with the American Repertory Theater for the best repertory company in the nation, a Tony Award in 1986. He went on to win, to become a member of, to be inducted into the Theater Hall of Fame, the American Theater Hall of Fame in 2002. And then in 2010, President Barack Obama put a ribbon around his neck with a medallion because he had won the National Medal of Arts, which is not given to a lot of people. It is just the highest honor that this country can bestow on its artists. Bob has been a visionary. He, there is an electric current of passion that runs through all of his work. It's been a true honor to be part of his circle and to be one of his devotees and admirers and to just really be in awe of all that he has contributed, all the, the way he has shaped the theater and the way he has nurtured talent. I am a teacher. I've been an educator for my entire life. And I understand that we do it because we're passionate about the art form, but also about shaping the next generation of talent. And when you hear the testimony that Bob's students, some of Bob's, Bob's students pay to him in the film, it's really moving because he has been there everything and we're grateful for all Bob has done. So Bob, thank you. And I'm just honored to be here. Bless you, my sweet Bob. Bless you too. <laughs> to Doreen Beinart and Robert Brustein, inspirational, passionate leaders who continue to transform and sustain the arts for generations to come. I am proud to present you with this award from Boston Jewish Film, and we thank you for your leadership in our community. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you so much. Oh my God. My favorite photograph oh of us. Great. It's beautiful. That's Can I show it? Story. Of course. Oh, beautiful. Oh, a beautiful wife. My wonderful husband. <laughs> <laughs> what a great picture. Yeah. Taryn, it's such an honor to receive this award from you and our remarkable board and our phenomenal staff of Boston Jewish Film. It's been such a joy to work with you and watch the dynamism of your leadership and passion and commitment. Each time I sit down and watch a Boston Jewish film, I know I will learn a lot. I will feel an integral part of the greater Jewish community of Boston and the Jewish experience. It's been such a privilege to be involved with Boston Jewish Film. Many thanks. Can I say something? <laughs> Please. Uh, I'd like to say, of course, how honored I am on my behalf and behalf of my beloved, lovely wife uh, to receive this award. Uh, and to point out that Jews and film have always been associated, deeply associated. Uh, I can't tell you at the moment who invented film, uh, but I can tell you that um, Metro Goldwyn Mayer was made up of Samuel Goldwyn and Louis B. Mayer, and um, Warner Brothers is made up of Harry and David Warner brothers, and they're all Jews, uh, running the biggest and most influential uh, film companies uh, in the country, in the world, for that matter. So this is an honor in any, every possible respect to be associated with such people is just mind-boggling. Uh, so thank you deeply from the bottom of my end. My wife's heart. 
It's, it's honestly, it is our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Thank you. And now you all have the opportunity to see Robert Brustein, A Celebration, where you can meet Bob, the writer, the teacher, the artist, the director, the artistic director, on and on and on. It's a very fitting tribute to Bob and his multi-dimensionality, his just encyclopedic knowledge, his charisma, his warmth, and his passion. So with that, enjoy Robert Brustein, A Celebration.